everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I'm sharing with you all of the fragrances I've warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So this week I continue to participate in the wax melting challenge that's being hosted by Patricia Gates. And I went through several candles this week. I will say that this week was not a very good week for me as far as being able to smell uh, for the first few days of this week, my allergies got me really bad and I could barely smell anything. So some of the things in here I'm not going to be able to give you really good impressions on, but I will tell you what I remember as I come through it. So let's start off with the wax melts first. As I get to the prompts for the wax melting challenge, I will let you know, and then we will do the candles at the end. So. Let us start off with this one right off the top. This is Otaku Sense in King. King is a character from Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> like I said before, Otaku Sense does their fragrances based on anime and video game fandoms, and I purchase based on scent notes. So the Seven Deadly Sins collection is a new collection to her website. It is based on the manga and the anime, and I don't know who the mangaka is on that, but I have not watched Seven Deadly Sins, nor have I read it. So, I just purchased based off of scent notes. This one has scent notes of sunflowers, rose, orange flower, and jasmine. Beautiful aqua colored wax. I did this one in the smaller bathroom. This is lovely. Very floral all the florals that I enjoy. It does give a little bit of a laundry-esque feel, but a very clean, fresh floral fragrance. And I really enjoyed this one, so I'll definitely repurchase that. That is King. Uh, this is for one of the Wax Melt Challenge prompts. As you can see, I have had to start putting these sticky notes on it because the last few weeks I've forgotten to tell you what certain ones were for like I've missed a few prompts so I'm trying to make sure that I remember so this one was for the wax melting prompt of melt a wax that reminds you of a youtuber so I melted tinsel time by Kringle candle I had gotten this one from my friend melted Michelle in a wax swap or some friend mail um, this is one of the ones that Michelle likes we use the entire clam, three cubes in each warmer out here in the open concept area. I do have two warmers, one that's right behind me on the entertainment center and one that is more that way towards the kitchen. This was really nice. This is a fragrance that I always look at when I'm on the Kringle website because the artwork on that label just draws me right in. It's very holiday-esque. It is my type of color. If you want to draw me to buy something, this is the color that you use. This like aqua color. Um, I'm very drawn to that color and it's one of my favorites. But I've never pulled the trigger to purchasing it because I was afraid it was going to be too herbally. Uh, but this was really nice. I got a really fresh citrusy fragrance off of this. There is a little bit of herby nest to it. But it's not as much as I thought it was going to be, considering the name of the wax is Tinsel Time. This is really nice. It was really fresh. It was really clean, really citrusy for me. And I enjoyed that. So I will be purchasing more of this in the future, but probably just in wax melts. Because I don't think that this is one that I'll be melting a lot of. In fact, it was in the Mercury Glass Jar release that Kringle just recently had I did not purchase one of these but I did go in for snowcap Fraser and uh, blue spruce so just so that you know that but this was really good really enjoyed that and thanks Michelle for sending that my way in the master bath I did one of the new ones to the country candle line this is tis the season we did two cubes in the warmer in the master bath it's kind of a sweet tree fragrance, but the tree oil that they're using for this is not one that I particularly care for. There is a little bit of powdery, powdery nest to it as well, 
this was just okay. I only got this one in wax melts to try, and I'm glad that I did. This would not be a repurchase for me. Wax melt prompt of melt a fall apple scent. So we went ahead and did some Harry Potter Hufflepuff. This, to me, has some, um, like, caramelliness to it. That's mostly what I get from this is like a caramelly or butterscotch note and a very, very little green apple. So we did, I think we did one cube in each warmer. So I have one cube left in here of Hufflepuff. And then I decided to go ahead and mix that with Johnny Appleseed. So I have a brick of Johnny Appleseed this is just a like mac apple, some apple peels, and a little bit of pear. This is a really, really nice, fresh, vibrant apple scent. I really enjoy this, and it's a nice, strong performer. Around this time of year, I tend to use a lot of apple, and so having a brick of Johnny Appleseed is a smart move for me. This, I used half a brick cube, so to me, that's like two cubes of a regular bar so use half a brick cube of Johnny Appleseed to one cube of Hufflepuff and this is really nice definitely gave me those caramel apple vibes and I will be doing this again I did have Hufflepuff in my club for a little bit but I decided to go ahead and take it out because caramel apple scents are not something that I normally like want to melt and around this time of year is the time where I would because to me it's like a Halloween type thing um, at least as far as smells go so this was really good I would do that again and really enjoyed that one. super strong performer out here in the open concept area too so that was great today out in the open concept area we are doing a wax melt challenge prompt of melt something pink for breast cancer awareness month and so we used a full clam of heirloom rose this was from the Epcot Flower and Garden Collection. This no longer looks like this. Uh, this is in my club. So we're just getting a regular, uh, like kind of a generic label now. Uh, this is red roses and some greenery. Ugh, really enjoyed this one. This is not as strong as Simply Rose for me. But it's different enough that I went ahead and clubbed this anyway. <laughs> and this is doing really well out here in the open concept area with the air cooler and the fans going because even though it's 58 degrees when I recorded my video last week it is a whopping 93 degrees right now so temperatures are going back up it will go back down towards the end of this coming week again but it's very hot and I am very unhappy but this is doing great awesome smell i really really enjoy rose fragrances and i really enjoy scentsy's rose fragrances at least this one and simply rose are two of my faves really really enjoyed that one and like i said we use the whole clam in the master bath i decided to try to do a mix so i mixed k scented melts blue spruce so i did one cube of blue spruce k's uh, blue spruce is evergreen spruce moss cedar and mint this is really really nice i really enjoy blue spruce fragrances i will be purchasing more of this oh, so good so one cube of blue spruce and then i decided to mix it with two sections of l3 waxy wonders ivory this is ivory soap it's a classic fragrance for us we use ivory soap still to this day in my household, and that smell just is very iconic. And so I like to try to mix the ivory soap with things because to me, ivory soap in wax is really, really strong. And there are times where I just don't want full on ivory soap. And so I'm trying to find like mixes to use ivory soap with. And I decided to try it with Blue Spruce because this is a scent that I really, really have enjoyed the last year or so. And this was actually really nice. But it's kind of funny because 
I got something different from my daughter. So when I was melting this, I predominantly got ivory soap. And so I thought the next time that I would need to use more blue spruce. But my daughter primarily got blue spruce and thought that we needed to use more ivory soap. So I'm going to have to do this one again. I did not get to smell this one as often as I wanted to because I was so busy yesterday that I just forgot to go into the master bath because that's not the bathroom that I normally will go into. The master bath is connected to my mom's room. And so I meant to go in there and check on it yesterday to see what I thought and I just was so busy I forgot. And by the time I had gone in there later in the evening, it was ready to be changed out. So I'll definitely be doing this one again, probably in the next coming week to try. Um, and I only have one cube of blue spruce left, so I definitely want to do it somewhere where I frequent more often so I can get a good grasp on what I'm smelling. But these two did work together. I just need to figure out if it needs more blue spruce or if it needs more ivy soap. But definitely we'll be trying that one again. And like I said, I will be ordering more blue spruce in the case. I'll probably be getting a 16 ounce case cuts in that because that's how much I really enjoy that blue spruce. In the smaller bathroom, we did a cube of country candle frosty branches. This, to me, kind of gives a cleaner-esque fragrance. Again, very citrusy to me, but I definitely get like the mentholness of the eucalyptus. If there's eucalyptus in there, I'm not sure, and some like fir needle. But for me, primarily, this comes off cleaner E. And I don't know if it's because I had it in the smaller bathroom that I kind of associated it with cleaner. But even now, I'm kind of like, mm, kind of smells like cleaner to me so yeah this would not be a repurchase but it wasn't terrible it wasn't terrible and it would is a perfect scent for the bathroom so frosty branches from country candle also in the master bath i did this one snow place like home from scentsy so this i picked up in the clearance section in september and I picked up five bars. It's a minty tree. Mostly mint, fresh air with just the slightest touch of tree. I thought for sure this is going to be right down my alley. So this was just an okay fragrance for me. But you can see that this is a flat bottom container. So usually that means it's before 2019 or around there. Um, I cannot see a pour date on this, but because it's flat bottom, I gotta believe it's about three or four years old. This is very light. So, like I said, I only did one cube in the smaller bathroom. I'm going to try this one again in my bedroom. And like I said, I bought five bars. So, we'll see what it's like with more cubes, but this was just okay for me. I'm glad that I picked up what I did. I will probably not repurchase this fragrance though. Unless they re-pour it and a fresh pour is much stronger than that, uh, that was pretty light. In the open concept area, I did another mix. So I did one cube of sweet orange and evergreen. This was from last year's scent of the month rotation. This was, I believe it was November scent of the month. This, for me, is just a really nice tree scent. I don't get any orange. It's just a really nice tree scent. And so I did one cube of that in each warmer out here in the open concept area with half a brick cube of iridescent, the 50th anniversary Disney bar. This is really good. It is in my club. Very florally, perfumey, very strong performer. And so I like to try to mix the iridescent with tree fragrances to kind of give me that staying at the Disney hotel during the holidays type of feel um, because I thought that when they were using this fragrance at the parks hotels um, during the holidays you know they usually have a tree out in the lobby and so to mix both fragrances together kind of give that same feel 
I did this one before uh, last year with very snowy spruce. Really enjoyed it. I actually preferred the mix with the sweet orange and evergreen. Now I did not club sweet orange and evergreen because like I said, it was just a nice tree scent. And last year, this was not a good performer for me. But this year, it's much better. And I prefer the scent this year than I did last year. The scents have like matured as it has aged and it's much better for me now than it was last year. But I didn't club it, so this was really good. I really enjoyed it. But definitely, if you like the iridescent bar, try it with very snowy spruce and see what you think because I really enjoyed that as well. So that was really good. Really enjoyed that one. Good performer. Also out here in the open concept area, in the master bath, we did two cubes of Kringle Candles Pomegranate Punch. This is a new release, I think, for their holiday season. This is just okay. I do get a little bit of plasticiness and so there must be some kind of strawberry or some kind of cranberry uh, oil in there because for me Kringles, strawberry and cranberry do come off plasticky to me. But I don't really get much else. Like I get a little bit of a pomegranate fragrance but it's very light. And when it was in the master bath, it was also very light. And the plasticky note for me came out much stronger on warm. My daughter thought this smelled like cough syrup. And so she didn't like this one at all. So definitely not a repurchase for us and a pretty light performer. In the smaller bathroom, I did a cube of cheerful candle uh, balsam fur. So this is their wax melts. This is a paraffin wax melt. It's paraffin, you can tell by the way it looks. This is a nice tree scent. It is just a nice tree scent. I would probably purchase this one again in a full size candle. I have some cheerful candles. I haven't melted through a lot of them though, so I can't really give you testimony on performance, uh, but this wax melt did pretty good in the smaller bathroom. I enjoyed it. It lasted a day. Good enough for me. I enjoyed it. Uh, this is a nice tree fragrance for me. Would repurchase that fragrance from them. Currently in the master bath, we have two cubes of Destination Wax Juniper Walk going in there. This is Evergreen Juniper and Fresh Sweet Mountain Air. This is really good. Now, what I'm getting is a very, very like sweet apple note with that like evergreen juniper but the prominent note that i get is like a sweet apple note and then the evergreen and juniper are in the background with that sweet mountain there i really enjoy this one i would repurchase this one it's really really nice and so that is destination wax juniper walk Again, in the master bath, uh, we did some pink zebra sprinkles and pink grapefruit. This is clean citrus, sparkling grapefruit, and pomegranate juice. So this is a really, really nice grapefruit scent. It's kind of toned down with the pomegranate. Um, so it's not as sharp a grapefruit scent. Now, I like grapefruit scents, but my daughter does not. <laughs> she did say, though, that this um, pink grapefruit was much better than the other grapefruit scents that she had smelled before. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because I know my daughter doesn't enjoy grapefruit scents. And so I try to be real sparing with the grapefruit scents that I do melt in the general areas of my house. But this was really good. I might buy another bag or so, but like I said, sparing use in our house because the daughter doesn't really care for grapefruit scents. Got a wax melt challenge prompt here of, oh, melt a white wax. So we did almost snow from lavender and speckles. Now, I will say that the day that I melted this was the day that my allergies were at its worst. So I could only smell this just barely because I was almost completely stuffed up. Um, but I do like how this smells on cold. 
So this says, what could have been I smell snow in the Gilmore Girls restock? Peppermint, sweet milk, creamy vanilla, and a hint of roasted pine cones. I really enjoy this on cold. It's definitely a very, very creamy peppermint smell with just a touch of roasted pine cone. What I could smell of this was really good, and I would say it was probably pretty strong considering how congested I was that day. And that day was not a good day for me at all. I mean, I was sneezing every five minutes or so. I was very red in the eyes, watery eyes. My nose was stuffed but running. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, but, like I said, what I could smell of this, I enjoyed. So I do have four more cubes, so I can do this again out here. And I enjoyed what I smelled. And then in the master bath, uh, when I could smell the night before, <laughs> we did high tide. So we just did one of these little pieces. So this is a captivating scent of fresh ozonic ocean tide rolling up a rocky shoreline. This was really really good it is so fresh you definitely get that ocean air aquaticness but it's not super salty which is what i like of my ocean air fragrances i like it to be just a touch salty but not super salty oh this was so good and it was super strong too Perfect scent for the bathroom, but I'd really like to see how this would perform like in my bedroom or the open concept area because this left a really great impression on me. I really, really enjoyed this one. And so that's High Tide from Lavender and Speckles. In my bedroom, I did this one. Um, I got this as a friend mail from my friend Aubrey Trebert. And so I went ahead and did Rose Red for Breda's Creepy Treasures. This is Rose, Yellow Cake, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I am doing this one in the Under My Spell Warmer that's in my bedroom. This is a Red Rose fragrance to me with a Yellow Cake note. So it's been going about three nights now. I only turn on my warmers in my bedroom at night. And it's ready to be changed out now. Now, even though there's still smell, all I smell is yellow cake, and I'm not a big bakery melter, but the rose note in this was really nice. So up until the end of last night, I could still smell the rose. When I went to go turn off my warmer at the end of the night last night, I could only smell yellow cake. So yellow cake, not for me, but the red rose with the yellow cake was nice. And in fact... For the first night and most of the second night, I could mostly smell rose and barely any yellow cake. At the end of last night, though, it was almost all yellow cake and maybe a little bit of the vanilla bean marshmallow. But this did great in my bedroom, and it was one of these jack-o'-lantern type um, wax pieces. The one that I have in my warmer is red. And just having that like red wax in the warmer gave like my bedroom this really eerie red glow it was super on point for the season and so yes this is really good so thanks aubrey for sending me this one to try i really enjoyed it and i'll definitely be trying more british creepy treasures in the future as i can find things that are in my scent preference wheelhouse because i've gone on her website a few times and she's only had like a lot of bakery stuff and i don't do a lot of bakery but her wax does great in my house, and so I'm excited to try more when I can find it. I did this one for a wax melt challenge prompt of melt something that's pumpkin spice. I think this was for the first day of the month where it was pumpkin spice day. Melt something that uh, it coincides with that. And so I did this one from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is ginger snap pumpkin. So I did this one on a tea light in my bedroom. Uh, I did four of these Trig Tart pieces. This was really good. This is like a 
crunchy ginger cookie, which is to me what a ginger snap is, a crunchy ginger cookie with that pumpkin. And there's a butteriness there. I could smell the butter. I don't know. This might be competing with my pumpkin gingerbread scent um, from Destination Wax as a Thanksgiving melt. Um, I think I mentioned it to you before, but on Thanksgiving Day, we melt pumpkin gingerbread. This one was really good, though. So I might be adding some of this around the house that day. Really, really good. Definitely recommend that one if you like, like, gingerbread pumpkin or ginger, like, snap type smells. Really, really good. And then the last of the wax that I did this week uh, was for another wax melt challenge prompt, and this one was to melt a pear scent. And so we went for our tried and true champagne pear from Destination Wax. This is a loaf. Um, champagne pear is the bubbly with Bartlett pears, pear nectar, and green apples. We really love this fragrance, and it was a super strong performer out here in the open concept area. All day, super strong. I chopped this up, and I chopped it up really bad. So, like, the pieces are about this big, but we just popped one of these in the warmer, each warmer out here. So good. Super strong throw. Really, really enjoy that scent. Would definitely repurchase in the future. And so that is Champagne Pear from Destination Wax. And one last wax ch melt challenge prompt that we did this week was to melt something that makes you smile for World Smile, smile Day or something like that. And of course, I had to go for my tried and true Magical Frosted Forest. You're going to be seeing this scent a lot as we end out the year because now is my time to melt this. My absolute favorite scent, probably my longest running favorite scent, uh, Magical Frosted Forest from Yankee Candle always makes me smile. And so this is like a tree scent with some pineapple in it and it is just amazing. I melted down this paraffin candle and as you can see, I made some wax melts out of it. And so we just use these as wax melts throughout the house. And it was amazing. Amazing. So definitely a favorite. Definitely made me smile. So that is all of the wax that we melted this week. So let me clear this off and I will bring back the candles. And then we'll finish out this video. Okay. Five candles. We'll start with. The same one that we just finished off in the last section. So obviously in the evening when I did Magical Frosted Forest in the warmers, I had to do Magical Frosted Forest in the candle. This is one of the old two wick cylinder type candles. Really, really good. I put this one in my Brumhilda. <laughs> it's a witch. I guess you would call it a hurricane. Um... It's been with me for a long time from Hilda. Every October I bring her out and use it and this fit perfectly in there because it's more for like smaller, like three wicks or the medium jars instead of like the larger jars. The larger jars are too big for Brum Hilda, but this one fit perfectly inside. And so we went ahead and put this one inside Brum Hilda and really, really enjoyed that one. I busted into this one this week. This is Snowy Sleigh Ride from Homeworks. <laughs> this is Blue Spruce Snow Covered Woods Pine Sap and Winter Air. So I picked this one up from one of the sales that they had this summer. I think it was a 4th of July sale. This is my second chance at giving Homeworks a try in my home. This is what it looks like inside. This one is a three wick. Now on cold, I like the smell. It's a nice like tree type fragrance, but on cold, it is very light. Now I will tell you that when I had this burning, I could not smell it at all, at all. Could not smell anything. 
at all. So it's not looking good for Homeworks and me. Um, I do have candles still from Homeworks that I haven't tried to burn yet, but I may not even try to burn those. I may just try to chop those up and put them in warmers and see how that performs in my home because burning it doesn't seem to work well in my home at all. So still experimenting with homeworks, but the outlook is negative at the moment. <laughs> we'll continue to experiment and hope that I will be able to get better performance in some way, shape, or form. We also did this one, Honeycrisp Apple Cider. I think at the end of last week, we were doing an apple cider scent for one of the Wax Melt Challenge prompts. So that evening, we melted the matching candle, Honeycrisp Apple Cider from Yankee. This is my daughter's favorite apple cider fragrance. It's a nice, fresh apple cider fragrance. Barely any spice there. And we really enjoy this one. So definitely would repurchase that one in the future. We did Jack Frost in the Yankee Candle. And both of these are in the paraffin. Yankee Candle paraffin. Uh, Jack Frost is a mint and vanilla fragrance. This is another one of those classic Yankee Candle fragrances that have stuck with me for a while. I just really, really enjoy this one. Minty, but creamy absolute repurchase for me my preference for this like label is not the best i had one before that was like a like a children's doodle of a like family playing in the snow uh making snowmen and stuff and i much prefer that label to the regular like actual <laughs> snowman but the fragrance inside is just so nostalgic for me in fact this says it's a returning favorite first poured in 2000 and so yes really really love this fragrance good performer in my house too i have no problems with these paraffin candles so i guess i should count myself lucky and then the last candle we did this week was kringle candles snow cat fraser i had to revisit this one because I knew it was coming up in the Mercury Jar release uh, to see if I needed to get any more of it, and I definitely did, so I got some. This is a really, really nice tree fragrance with, like, a fresh air, cooling fresh air note in there for me. It's just, like, a really nice, crisp tree fragrance with fresh air. Really, really love this one. So Snowcap Fraser is definitely a repurchase for me. And like I said, I did purchase more of that. So I can go through that candle with no regrets. <laughs> I actually have one more candle to share with you. I had forgotten that I had finished a Christmas tree from Scentworks. So I picked this one up from Kohl's last year. This one is Mountain Evergreen Fresh Balsam Sparkling Woods and Glowing Amber. This is a really, really nice tree fragrance. It's like a sweet tree fragrance. No issue with the burn at all. You can see that I do still have some left, but that is normal safety practices. And I don't know if I'm going to put that in the crock and try to get the rest of the smell out or put it in a candle lamp. But these scent work candles perform so much better for me in my house than the homeworks ones do so i'm not sure if i'm going to even be able to find this fragrance anymore at the coals that's near me um but scent works definitely performs a lot better in my home than the homeworks i don't know why that is because aren't aren't they the same company it says scent work by slotten and slotkin and co so i don't understand why these perform so much better than the homeworks where I can barely smell anything from homeworks I can definitely smell these in fact these are strong performers in my home so I finished off this candle it's not often that you see me finish off a candle <laughs> but I did finish this one off so that is everything that I have finished or at least gone through this week let me know down in the comments below 
what you've gone through this week, if you had a favorite, and if you were participating in the wax melting challenge prompts, what did you melt on the day where it said to melt something that makes you smile? I would really love to know. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me a snowman. <laughs> Make it feel cooler than it is for me, please. <laughs> a snowman or some kind of snow emoji down in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated. It would really help me out, and that will do it for me today. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy, and until next time, Take care and smiley always. Bye.